it took away his jump. Oh, ooh. Let's ooh. go, VV and Mouse Silver. Mouse Silver. Per. On PS2, anyway. Um, I hate PS2. You know, as you should, but like, it's whatever. Um, there are better stages. <laughs> there are better cough, stages. Cough, cough. Um, small battle. Oh. Anyways. Anyway. Um, so here's the thing about like this matchup, right? This matchup just goes bird because you have to make sure that. No, I'm telling you, right? Because goes like, what? goes bird. <laughs> like you see, you see, uh, Mithra. Like she goes zoop 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 doom doom doom. She just does things, and like if we've seen anything from a lot of the situations that like Lucario struggles in. It's from situations. Now, can we just talk about the parry of extreme speed into up down? But see, you act like you haven't seen that before. No, but you really parried that. Like, and then you were actually able to punish it. Like, you're actually quiet. Like, you I'm, actually can play the game. What you trying to say, Bestie? Sometimes people don't know how to play the game. <laughs> but I'm glad to see people who actually can. Um, and BB definitely knows how to play the game. He might be playing a really smart game right here by keeping oh, Mouse over off the stage. And you know what? Right back to neutral. Oh, just, just take advantage of. I know my doctor's kind of crazy. <laughs> just take advantage of of Mithra and or you know just, just Pyro and, and Mithra's uh, lack of able ability to come back on stage effectively and just like, capitalize on it. It's exactly what we did. And now we're back to even, which is pretty much now where Lucaro wants to really be. He really wants to be that much more like that orange, just red percentage. Just he has enough damage output to actually be a character, but also not too much damage where he'll get you know. Shambled quickly. Mm -hmm. And so here's the thing. So we've seen from situations like you know, um, I think Nixie. I think they played it from what I remember. Uh, and what I'm trying to get at is that a lot of situations that Lucario loses to, Lucario loses to being in disadvantage. If your character is really fast and can kind of take advantage of a lot of what Lucario like can do, you can just mix the heck out of Lucario, and Lucario can just not do anything about it. He just has to sit there and eat all that damage from disadvantage, and he can't do anything about it. We saw that last week from Sean and Vivi in um, yeah, Losers yeah. Finals. So yeah. honestly, like I feel like that's exactly what Mouse Silver needs to do in order to make sure that they have an advantage over BB because that's the only way you're really gonna like win. You can't like you can't really like do too much without um aura being a factor into killing. Great stalling on the recovery on the ledge just to not get hit by that lightning buster right there. Because that would have absolutely killed BB right, right when he really does not want to die. He wants to break up more more of that extra credit percentage uh, in order to capitalize on as much as he can, just in the case that he gets his stock taken. But that might not be the case right now because we have Mouse Over. Kind of, he was stuck. He couldn't do anything about that. It had he switched to, My uh, to Myra, to Mithra, and done something back to the stage, he would have gotten. He he, he would have gotten hit by that Aura Sphere straight on. And that power you just saw right now, all he could do is air dodge and hope that that Aura Sphere misses. But you know, Vivi kind of don't miss. Uh, so like the thing is too, they also use their jump in that situation. Yeah. Which wasn't really the best. Like if you know, we know anything about this character, uh, Aura Sphere just, oh. It does every and everything. It pays your taxes. It literally like it can just like scout out any potential enemies that you might have. It it does any and everything it needs to do. And like whenever we're talking about situations, you have to make sure your recovery is also on point. Because you don't wanna have a situation like that, especially like considering the um you know, matchup at hand, like you don't wanna lose your jump early and then die because or a sphere go burr. Or a sphere right? really be going burr though. It, it really do be going burr. All right, over here, kind of picking over to small battlefield. I don't really think if anyone's in clear advantage with this stage anyway. Oh, it is a pretty cute stage. You it know. is a cute stage. If anything, Myra. Better than PS2. Myra. I keep calling her Myra. Her name is Myra, bestie. It's not what Myra. Are you talking about? It's not Myra. Let me tell you about Myra. Myra just goes burr and goes fast. I told you. Last game, I'm gonna tell you now. If she if she is gonna do the thing, she has to do the thing now. The thing that Mithra has over most characters in the roster. Wow, that's not gonna hit. Um, is that she has she's just faster. She's so much faster in the air and the ground, and with her attacks in general. The only thing she has really in her disadvantage is of course being off the stage, with her very limited recovery to up B and side B. Absolutely, I definitely think that mm -hmm. Vivi is playing really well in this matchup because like he hasn't really come to all the disadvantages that I was kind of like looking out for, and it's just you know honestly really nice to see. 
switching over to Pyro now. She actually will make that. Okay, my fault. I thought, I thought she was like not gonna make that for a second. And the back hit of that move is so instrumental to a lot of characters. Ooh! I want to see. I want to know what happened. If the counter, can, who, who who wins? Who has power? The counter or foresight? I would be interested to see that. It is possible. Wait, wait, what was the, I, you know what? Um, like I'm if if losing. foresight was used right as counter, like what would happen? It wouldn't happen. I don't. know, I think it would. Uh, I, by no. the, by the time the move like is gonna end. Can I just imagine for two seconds? No, you can't. Bust Understandable. Me. My bad. <laughs> for sure. Um, but yeah, it's looking like a little bit like bad for Mouse Silver. Oh, but maybe I lied in that patience. moment. Maybe they're just gonna get that upbeat and it's gonna take out that stock immediately. Hello. That was very nice on Mouse Silver's part. Ooh, okay. Just doing right. a little bit of the, the BB things. And BB did trying to take as much, as, as much advantage of being in center stage as possible right now, which is exactly what he needs. You know, Mithra needs to kind of keep away from Lucara as much, uh, keep close to Lucara as much as she can. And BB is just being a little bit faster in that in that regard. Absolutely, I definitely just love that, like the way that BB uses um his positioning to kind of get all around a lot of the tools that people have. Ooh. Not gonna take it just in time. Wow. Well, oh, no, because you have 48%. That's likely why they didn't take it right in there. Absolutely. But, but that no, dash attack is absolutely gonna take it. And we're on Mouse Over's last stop of this set. I don't know, Bestie. What do you What do you feel? I know this is something really precarious for Mouse Over. Yeah, he has a dominant lead in the first Ooh. game of, of the first set. Of the first stock of the first game. But right now it's a complete 180, and it's big. He's been in BBC for last like like game and a half. So unless he's able to kind of pull out some really cool, like really just uh, I don't want to say cheesy, but cheesy mechanics with Pyra and Mithra, this might end up being in BBC race because he has the advantage of being at one a stock ahead and at that red percentage that all blue Paros love to be at, where they're the most powerful. Ooh. Oh yeah, you're just a little bit too low. Yeah. Yeah, just a tiny bit too low and gonna be taking that stock. That was very good on BB's part. Just doing the dang thing. You already know how I do what it be. Lucario Tings. Bestie, you got shooken up a little bit. What's I going was on? yawning without trying to like make it audible. <laughs> so like they didn't see what happened, but I basically just like shook my mouth. I, I, I was gonna say that BB was putting a little fear in your eyes, but um, I, that's what I, we... I've played friendlies with VV, and I'm automatically in disadvantage because he can read my menu just as fast as I can. Oh, I mean, he does Because he hero. plays hero. I'm sorry, but... So I just don't play, play my friendlies with him. I mean, but... he doesn't play hero against me because oh, well, okay. I'm Bestie. OD at the, at the hero ditto. I don't care what anyone says. But you know what's also OD? Uh, mm -hmm. Xeno Weekly. Every Period. Wednesday. Absolutely. <laughs> as, as you should. As you should. Xeno Weekly is every Wednesday, as we already knew. $8 venue, $7 entry at 21 Ludlow Street, period. These are all the social links of the houses of 3000s. Already know what to do, what it be. Um, and yeah, um, so that is going to be it for me specifically. I'm, I'm getting though. booted off. Okay, listen, Not I'm sorry, though. Bestie. Bye. Listen, um, I hope you guys know how amazing you are. You guys are literally lovely and wonderful. Um, I hope you guys have the rest of the amazing streams with the lovely besties. Um, and we'll talk to you guys later. Follow Bye. Them. Oh, yeah, follow us. Bye, um, guys. Bye.